hi guys welcome back to my channel it's your girl nenye if this is the first time coming across my channel you're highly welcome to my returning subscribers uh thank you so much guys for your support for your love i really appreciate um i hope we get you know to 50k subscribers now we are um 40 47 i think <laughs> and i hope that we get to 50k okay so um guys we're going to be talking about um how to play naughty in the bedroom and this is especially for ladies so if you're a guy please go sit down okay this video is not for you but it's for you actually okay you can share it with your girlfriends and your wife okay um and um we're gonna be playing naughty naughty <laughs> so if you're a lady okay buckle up it's gonna be a long ride so um if you want to play naughty in the bedroom there's some things you need to change the game from playing it in the bedroom all the time you can change the game to those places that your man um you know those places that they least expect or you kind of like take them by surprise it's always good to kind of like add spice to your bedroom matter like your bedmatics game add spice to it and make it fun today you give it to him like this tomorrow you change tactics and give it to him another way make your life interesting and exploring don't always wait for a guy don't always wait for him to come and be like babe let's do where are you people doing? Doing and going with? Change that tactics and change the game, okay? So what we are going to be doing is, I, like I said, naughty. So no one should come here and tell me, ah, you don't spoil. You that is watching me, you're spoiled too. And that's why you came here to watch me. So don't come and be telling me you're spoiled. That's why I said naughty. We are going to be playing naughty. So like I said, the first thing that you can do here is, hmm? you know that time that your man, you have to kind of like make them anticipate for what you're going to do to them. Be naughty to them. Hmm? When your man wakes up and takes shower, always be target, targeting it when he has taken shower because you know you'll be doing some things. So it's not when he has not taken shower all day, you come and do it. But if you if you trust your man and you know how his hygiene and everything, then good for you, okay? So when your man has taken shower and is about to go to work, okay, like you can take him by, by surprise. And you know he's not late for work. It's not when he's late for work. Like let's say he's kind of like he still has like an hour to go to work but he's, a, he's like an early person so he has woken up get, gotten dressed and like maybe he's about to go take breakfast breakfast of course i like talking fast i want to talk fast kind of like um, use my tongue to say some words and they don't sound the way they are supposed to sound and so um and they don't sound the way they're supposed to sound and then what you do is he, as he's about to get dressed you just come over to him you know open his zipper and take his odogo inside your mouth now give it to him you know how they used to lick lollipop and how they used to lick ice cream lick it like that take his ding bah, stroke it hmm? stroke his ding bah, take it and stroke it and start licking it like give him a bj but don't allow him to kind of like ejaculate. just do it like halfway and then you close the zipper Peck him and then whisper that dirty thing you're going to do to him when he comes back. Or that might tell you, ah, you can't just leave me hanging. You have to finish what you've started. You tell him no. This is just like a tip of the iceberg to show you what I'm going to do to you when I come back. And then when he gets to work, he's going to be thinking, ah, I can't wait to come. He might even take excuse that he he's he might even call in sick because he, he can't wait to, for you to, you know, execute that your plan, that thing you want to do to him. But if it's someone that doesn't like missing work, he might decide, okay, let me just go to work. And when he gets to work, take a picture of yourself in his surgery or his big shirt without wearing anything inside. Remember, you have to be a man that you trust to. Don't go and send your picture and then he starts using it to... Mm. Okay? As long as he's a man that you trust, take a picture of yourself in his surgery and then you send him the picture. Write something naughty. Remember, when you're sending a dirty text message, it has to be short and to the, to the point, straight to the point. You don't need to start asking him, how are you? No. That those ones are old, old cargo, you know, this thing. You have to just go straight to the point. I want you, I want you to lick your, your D like this. You know, send that straight message. It has to be catchy. So that once he sees it, he'll be like, yeah, I like this. Okay? And then when he now, when he now comes back, hmm, after you have sent him that dirty message, he has going, he's going to be thinking, I can't wait to come back. What does this woman have in stock for me? Once he comes back, hmm, you unleash that demon. That honey inside you, you unleash it on him and take him to cloud nine. Yes. Now I'm going to be sharing with you guys another thing that you can do to your man hmm, to improve in your bedmatics game. 
another thing you can do is wear something very short or you can decide to wear a polo his polo that is big big on you don't wear anything inside sit him down on a chair make sure that as your the position that you see you're sitting him is the position that he can see you like you're sitting on the bed he can see you, he's facing you tie his hands don't tie it very tight though, so that he can be able to lose it just tie it loosely but tie, tell him to obey you know men men always obey when it comes to sex you will definitely obey because they like those kind of things so tell him just to sit down you tie his hands two hands on the chair and then you start on dress you now start removing those that polo or you just wear lingerie like a, a, a sexy and maybe um you know that thing down there and then you start undressing it in front of him once you've undressed it you can be calling his name while you're undressing yourself let's say his name is mike you can you know shorten the name like me Ma. You just shorten the name or kk like mike you call him kk okay you just shorten the name and then you call him that name and as you're undressing yourself let him be watching you he's going to be swallowing like oh he'll be salivating and then you now sit down on the bed spread your legs out so that he'll be seeing your juicy pots your evd all those things you have them go go hmm? once he's now sitting down you want once you're now sitting down then you now start touching your sensitive parts Mm? You know those the parts that you like, start touching them and be moaning. Moan sex. Those people that are doing, hey, please, moan sex. Don't be doing all those in Panam de yo. Or you do, mm, mm. no. Moan all those moaning that when you moan, even if the, your, the man has not started touching you, you have not started touching the man. The man's if they do, you moan sexy as you touching yourself. Huh? You're touching the EVD, the EVD, the EVD. And then, when you're satisfied that you're finished tormenting him, you've tormented him enough, you now tell him to untie himself and he should be fast before you dress up and leave. You now see, watch that that man, that demon, he will unleash that demon. Any demon. I've never seen a man that is so honey that he doesn't, you know, when, have you ever, if you're very close to your man and you're very, very observ observant, you know that when you, when men, they are honey, you can see their eyes. Their eyes are always like this. But when they are honey, it's smaller and deeper and darker. You know, they, they say there's this dark, should I say dark humor? Like there's this darkness around them. Their eyes will just get smaller. Just know that they are in the mood. So once you see his eyes like that, just know that you, the guy is in the mood. You now see, you now see him like he will unleash that honey part of him, that part you have not seen before. And then he will now take you to cloud cloud nine. Mm -hmm. Now this is the second tip. The third tip I'm going to be sharing with you guys is: sit your man down. Mm? Once you sit, sat him down. Mm? You kind of like start undressing in front of him, just like the second one we talked about. But this one, you're going to use a different tactics. You start undressing in front of him. Once you've undressed, you walk up to him, hmm? open his zipper, and put his evade inside your mouth. When you put it, start stroking. You know, when you're very good at giving a BJ, give him a very resounding BJ, the one that he's never gonna forget. But don't be in a rush. When you're doing it, you know, when your man is like about to like you know that he's getting to a point when he'll soon ejaculate just make it like take him by surprise kind of like get get his hands like take your hands guide his hands and put it on your wet juicy pot let him feel how wet you because you know you're very good in giving bj and you're very honey you know that when you're giving that bj that there's this kind of level of pleasure that you're going to be getting by just watching him move you're going to see yourself also being pleasured even if he's not touching you so you're going to definitely going to get wet so guide his hands and place it on your juicy pot and let him start touching and caressing you and stroking you just like the way you're stroking him you know so when you guys are at the point that you know you guys are already like panting <laughs> like people that want to die now take off his odogu from your mouth and then sit on him and Finish, finish the whole business. Finish it up. Mm -hmm. Here's another tip that I'm sharing with you guys that is very, very interesting. 
Now, the last one I'm going to be sharing hmm, is very, very naughty as well. Another thing that you can try. Ladies, I hope you're listening. Now, now when he's in the bathroom dating, go and join him. But when you join him, don't stand in front of him. Start, stand behind him. Now, start using the soap to, you know, wash his back. And then when you get to his, you know, backside, get the foam and place it on your hand. You know, the, the water is running, so definitely the foam, the, the soap is going to be foamy. The soapy, okay, foamy, not soapy, because water is rushing on all over your, your body, right? So the, the soap is going to be foamy. So you get the foam, the soap, you know, kind of like, um, put your two palms together and kind of like, um, how to, how to say, squeeze, right? Let your hand to you, your hand is foamy enough, and then use your right hand. Your two hands should be busy when you're doing this. Use your right hand, slide it on the you know, between his two legs, grab his you know, his testicles, and then start squeezing and massaging. Then, with your right hand, hold on to his dimpa, okay, because by then it's, it's kind of like getting erect. You hold on to the dimpa, and then you start stroking as well. Now, by this time, you're going to see him kind of like losing control and like losing balance. He'll be like, babe, what are you doing to me? And then before you kind of like get him to maybe kind of like turn you and start, you know, wanting to do some things to you, whisper into his ears and tell him that this is what you want him to do to you. And you're waiting for him in the bathroom. Before doing this, make sure that you've kind of like um, washed yourself before. You're just kind of like letting the water wash you because you've taken your bath. Then you leave him hanging and go to the bedroom to wait for him. Mm. Trust me, that man is going to take shower within five within five minutes. You see him is out, and then he's going to boom grab you and finish you up. So try this tip that I, you know, shared here, and definitely you're going to see. A result I don't just come here to speak I don't just talk and I, you know I'm, I don't I don't just talk I give great tips that I know that works all right so try one of these tips that I told you I shared with you guys and come back and tell me how it went and I'm gonna be stopping this video here so see you guys in my next video don't forget to like subscribe and share okay remember this is an episode of how to play nutty so before the end of this video and you're not naughty that means being naughty is not for you mm. and for those ladies that like playing church church in the bedroom you are doing yourself they say give to caesar what belongs to caesar so give to caesar when you go to church give to the church what belongs to them